Okay, what we're going to show you in a second is how to add a new admin user inside Magento. So, first things first, you click on system, you simply go down to permissions, you click on users, and first things first is you're going to be shown your existing users. If you've only just installed your Magento, you only have one, and that'll be admin, and then you can add some more if you like. This is one of our clients. Um, but I'm going to go through and add a new user to the list. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on add new user, which is here on the right hand side. Once that pops up, I then have a user. So this is the user that you should be using to log in with, uh, number one. So you might put, say, admin2 or whatever you want to call it. Give it a name, we'll call him Bob. And then surname's going to be Smith. His email address, make sure it's a valid email address, which would be Bob. Uh, smith.com for instance I don't know if that is an email address but we'll just move on password do give it a proper password so if you use proper words and numbers and letters and hashes and things it's probably quite important so um, five minutes I'm going to put hash nine I Q hash nine I Q and that's pretty much all I have to do. One thing to take note is I do have user information here. Um, and um, this is what I've actually displayed. And then with regard to user roles, I've got administrator as the only user role I've got um, in my system at the moment. You can add additional roles, but that's another session which I'll cover separately. So in the meantime, I'm happy with admin and I'm gonna click on save user. Oh, it doesn't match, so that's wonderful. So I'm gonna quickly gonna do something, Bob hash four, for argument's sake, I'm going to copy that, put it in there, put it in there, make sure it's both um, identical. That just shows you the fact that uh, Magento does need to have that password in there twice, and more importantly, it needs seven or more characters. So I'm going to copy that same password twice over. So that's fantastic. And click on save user. Obviously bang, let's use the bang. And I'm ready to go. So at this point in time, if I wanted to log into this particular admin account, I can through using the uh, admin URL. Okay, I hope this helps. Thanks so much.